Assalamualaikum guys, Lifan back again with another video and today what we are going to be looking at is how to have Excel automatically resize the width of a column depending on its contents or resize the height of a row depending on its contents. Okay, so uh, let's get started. Uh, what I have right now is I've got two uh, Excel files opened up. One is called the auto rows uh, file and the other is the auto fit uh, columns. Now, in the auto rows, uh, I've got you know, another thing uh, already set up is I've got uh, an extra long line of text pre typed, and then I have a link sheet which is linked to that sheet using a formula. So, whatever text you have here is going to get linked in here and, and Excel is going to automatically bring in that text over here. Now you notice, even though I have the word ripping on, but because this is coming through a formula, it is not automatically, uh, you know, taking care of it uh, in terms of increasing the width, uh, the height of this row to accommodate the full text. Similarly, in this uh, uh, file, the auto fit uh, columns, uh, you have again, a uh, this should be actually, I'm just going to make this off, an extra long line of text. Okay, so uh, in this, uh, the, the, the width of column B is not automatically expanding to accommodate a you know, long uh, you know, text. So uh, there's no function uh, available in Excel that automatically would do that for you, uh, just out of the box. Uh, but there is a way to do this uh, using Visual Basic that's built into Excel, and it's just going to be a one line, one liner code that will uh, you will uh, plug that in, and going forward, whenever you use that file, uh, the, the 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 rows are going to automatically resize themselves, or the columns are going to be uh, automatically resized. So let's get started. Uh, let me go back to the auto fit a uh, rows sheet okay now you should have the uh, developer tab enabled here okay hang on a second yeah uh, the way you uh, like i said you what you need to do is you need to have this developer tab uh, uh, activated and if you don't the way you would do that is go to file options and uh, go into customized ribbon and just check develop over here okay and just okay out of it okay anyway, so let's get started uh, what we have is uh, like i said here is the original sheet and then you have a, a link sheet and even though i've got the word wrapping on uh, this is not getting wrapped and this uh, row is not expanding to accommodate the long uh, line of uh, text. So what we would do is, like I said, we're plugging in a one line Visual Basic code that will take care of this for us, okay? So we go into Developer, Visual Basic, okay? Workbook, and Workbook. And instead of Open, what we'll do is Sheet Change. So you see how Excel already filled that up for you? So we type, Rows, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, dot, out of it. Okay, and you come out of it. Now, I'm just uh, making it even longer. Now, when you go into the link sheet, whenever the sheet is going to change, uh, this row automatically is going to resize itself. You see what happened? As soon as I did some activity, I typed the letter G and deleted it and moved my cursor. Excel thought the sheet has been changed. It expanded this row to accommodate the full text. Okay, earlier it was not so. So let me just uh, manually change the height back to where it was and let's type in my my name here okay i hit enter 
and there you go this row automatically expands to fill in the uh, to allow this long uh, line of text to you know to be counted in this cell okay now we are going to be uh, applying a similar logic in the other file that we have is the auto fit columns okay so we go into the developer we go into visual basic all right and workbook and we select workbook from here and sheet change and this time what we'll do is we just set columns open and close parentheses dot auto fit okay and we close out of this now whenever this sheet changes it's going to look at the, the, the data that you have in the sheet and uh, expand the width or contract the width of columns to make the text fit properly so if I'm going to type in my name in this cell here now you see this text is too wide for this column so when I hit enter this column is going to expand till about here so this whole text uh, can fill in now my name only occupies about half of the cell width so this column H is going to contract and come up end up over here so let me just hit enter and you see what happened this like I said this column expanded so the whole text can fit into it this column contracted so the, the width of the uh, the column is just enough to accommodate my name now if I were to put in my full name let's see what happens this column H is going to expand to accommodate my full name there you go so it's just uh, like I said it's just a one-liner let me just to go back here see it's just columns open and close parentheses dot out of fit and you need to be in the in the workbook so it you know it applies on all the sheets uh, similarly uh, for the um, uh, the um, auto uh, fit rows it's just uh, I'm sorry let me close this auto fit rows it's I'm at the wrong spot here. There you go. Um, it's just rows, open, and close, parentheses, dot, out of it. And that's it. Just a single line of code would uh, automatically uh, resize this, resize the height of this uh, this row in order to make sure that uh, this whole text is going to fit in. Okay. So that's uh, essentially how you can just use a single line of code in Visual Basic to resize a column or a row uh, depending on the, the contents of you know, any cell in that, um, in that column or row. And that's it uh, for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please kindly give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Thank you.